Should be okay now. Oh yeah. That's good to see you there. Uh, Amen. God bless. We're just here for the day. Are you a local or just visit Manchester? Yeah, we're doing a, a ten, well, fourteen-day outreach throughout the East Coast. So this is our first time here. So I said again, you should be what? It's supposed to be a Evangelical Charismatic, when I was near enough friendly, decided to become to be booked into East Orthodox. Basically, you're East Orthodox now, yeah. from Evangelical. Yeah, I used to be Evangelical Charismatic. I still have a lot of respect for Protestants. Okay, well, I used to be a Catholic. I used to be a Catholic yeah. yeah, now I'm a Bible believer. Bible believer. Yeah. I think the big difference that maybe you and I would have is, how does God impute justification? That's the crux of the whole subject, isn't it? How do sinners go to heaven? I just think like, for me, I just thought, when it came down to like, I just thought the fullness of the faith was an orthodox, because like, how did the faith come from Jerusalem, and then I think with saints, like, they helped us like, um, decide what the church believes, so like, we have the Nicene Creed, like, people like Constantine the Great. That's a lot later, isn't it? Much later, that yeah. Nicene Creed. I mean, I mean, like all Protestants agree, probably uh, and Catholics probably agree on the creed, but although I know Catholics have changed, slightly changed it when it comes to. Uh, of course, there's all the fullness dwells in the Bodhead Godly, yeah. which causes in Christ Jesus. Right. Catholics, Protestants, all, and Orthodox all believe in the Trinity, don't they? But, they do. Uh, but I think we believe in the resurrection of Christ. And his I, would hope, I would hope so, but it, it goes back to. How do we get our sins forgiven? Well, the thing is, uh, I didn't like about charismatic. It's like, so I went to a charismatic meeting recently. Like charismatic? This, yeah, charismatic meetings. Okay. Basically, they did a baptism and there was no acknowledgement of the Trinity, just full blast music. No oh, yeah. yeah. You're going from one extreme to another, and aren't you, like, really? Like the guy, this all folks three said, it's like 20 years ago, you might have heard the baptism done with the Trinity. It's like 20 years later, they come with a new doctrine. Oh, we don't want the Trinity involved in the baptism. Well, they're oneness, aren't they? A lot of these charismatics like, or modalists. I'm not, not keen on. No. Well, we're trying to. They, they Likewise. Yeah. They've invented new doctrines. So, well, that's taken up the original ancient faith. Well, the, the, the Christians are first called believers in Syria, that's right, yeah. Acts chapter 11. Which simply means again, a I'll, disciple of Christ. To be fair to Karazakh, they do like do a sermon and they do still lead people through the sinner's prayer. So. Yeah, but the sinner's prayer doesn't save anybody. It's just saying a, a batch of words. You yeah. have to believe in your heart that Christ was raised from death for your sins. I'm not going to cast out on someone who says a sinner's prayer. Sort of thing. Well, the question to be asked is where is yeah. it found in Scripture? Yeah. If we can find it in Scripture, we can have a discussion. If we can't, we've got a problem, haven't we? Because we yeah, follow, the, we follow the traditions of men then, aren't we? I'm not going to judge other Christians' hearts. That's God's place to do that, aren't we? Well, you told you it's righteous judgment, aren't you? What? You told you it's righteous judgment, aren't you, in John chapter 7? Yeah, yeah Jesus You have to use righteous judgment, otherwise how would you decide anything in the morning? Yeah, of course, <laughs> we should use righteous judgment, but we can't. We can't just say, oh, Protestants are not Christian. No. I didn't say that. I didn't say about Christians. But, but, uh, you mentioned the sinner's prayer, and I said to you, the sinner's prayer, I can't find in Scripture. And and it's not in scripture. I, I so scripture. That's just a that's just nonsense from Martin Luther. He came up with it. Well, he wasn't the first to come out with it, but he rediscovered it. I don't believe in sober scripture. So, what's, what's your final authority then, your church? Because we believe in like holy tradition. But Jesus warned against that in, Matthew, in Mark chapter seven. Not, but if you also read what Paul said, Jesus never said that. Like Paul actually said in one of his epistles, like God showed. It's Second Thessalonians chapter three. So how would you know what that would be without also, scripture? Uh, probably your argument is they didn't have the Bible when the church came out. So Paul said, receive oral tradition, like spoken, spoken word of mouth. So, so four scripture was written. Then once it was written, so we could check. Have a Bible like in those days, so you no, that's not, that's not the point. They're the Old Testament, didn't they, to fall back so on? You can't, so that doesn't stand up because they don't have a Bible in the, in the early church. But they have, Christ is the living word of God, isn't he? Yeah, but they didn't have the word of God in the early church. They had the Old Testament, they had the apostles still teaching them, Acts chapter 2, and you have what's called tradition, 2 Thessalonians, but how would you know what is script, what is biblical tradition, a man-made tradition, without the scripture? Yeah. You, you wouldn't know, would you? You'd just be guessing all the time. That's what I, that's what I mean, like a lot of them wouldn't have known. So. 
Who would have known like about holy tradition and that sort of thing? You keep mentioning tradition. Is it in the scripture? Are you from what men taught you or what the word of God oh, teaches? This is, actually, show you, this is what's so important. Tradition is mostly what comes out of the church councils, the creeds, the the words of men. If it's not found in scripture, then you're following other men basically. If it's in scripture, fine, stick with it. But the sinner's prayer you won't find. Helen's got them. So in your religion, I think you baptise babies, is that correct? Yeah, so that's a problem for me. How can, it, how can an infant repent and be born again when it's just a child? See, this is the problem you see. You've gone from progenism, uh, charismatic, which is obviously one issue, into the Eastern Orthodox Church, which I think they hold to uh, the perpetual virginity of Mary, don't they? She had no other children. Is that right? Does she have other children? Do you believe that? I'm not sure you do, actually. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, but I think you've, the Eastern Orthodox teacher, she had, she had no other children. Yeah. She was a perpetual virgin, whereas you're told in scripture she had other children. Well, at least seven children. We, do, we believe that's the Eastern Orthodox Council, so... Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like how there was something to gather together to decide. Well, that's was hard to explain, but everybody really sit down and look at things like that. Yeah. The question goes back to, how do people get their sins forgiven? It's that word that starts with J, justification, sanctification, redemption, glorification, all those words that end with an I-O-N. Yeah. If, if, if we get that wrong as professing Christians, we've got major problems. And that's why I'm trying to ask you, how do you... I mean, the difference between you and I would be justification. If I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand you guys hold to infused righteousness, whereas we hold to imputed righteousness. Is that correct? I don't know, I've got to be honest, there's so many questions I just can't answer. Okay, how long have you been North, Eastern Orthodox anyway? Okay, well it's worth you researching this a bit more because the difference between you and I is you guys hold to progressive uh, sancti yeah. uh, progressive justification, yeah. which we teach as a one-off act, but sanctification is is progressive. Yeah. And like I say, you baptise babies, you have priests in your religion, don't you? Yeah. I know your priests can marry, so, I'm not, so I'm the Catholics. I think of the priests, so I when Christ was blessed as a child in the temple, he was presented to a priest. That's the Old Testament, of course, being fulf no, that, that he's fulfilling the law. Testament as well, when Christ it's, in, it's in Luke chapter 2, I think it is, yeah, but that's still the Old Covenant. Because Christ hadn't died yet, had he? Yeah, that's a bit like, like some Augustine Hippo, when he, when he went. Augustine Hippo, he was a priest himself. Yeah, he was. He's 500 years later, though. That's the problem. You've got a massive gap. So, what are you going to say? That I don't... Know, if, they, if, they might, if the guys who you're quoting match with, line up with scripture, fine, we keep them. But did they don't, what did the Bereans do? They checked everything Paul told them, and what he said they kept, what he, what, he, what he taught them they retained, what wasn't taught they threw out. Otherwise you just follow him in. It's like the Catholic Church. What Bible do you use? What translation do you use? Do you read the Bible at all in your church? Which version? But the thing is, so what are you Baptist though? Non-denominational, but I would lean more towards a Baptist slash the open, the, uh, the open brethren if I was really sort of tied down. We're free grace, once saved, always saved. We're Trinitarian. So you got a lot of people in a lot of people in Orthodox who want to agree with uh, eternal security. No, they don't, they believe in Arminianism. That's the problem you see. It's down to them to keep themselves saved. But Christ has already paid the our debt. Is, I found when I was charismatic I never had no prayer but no spiritual prayer life. That's a big problem. It's not just what you're experiencing. That's what the Paul says to study, shows have approved unto God. I was just, every time I went to prayer meetings, I was just listening to other people pray. I didn't yeah, pray I know. Myself. It's a common problem, so my friend. I really orthodox has helped me in that way, having daily Well, prayer. it's given you tradition, it's given you a, 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 sense, it's given you a, a sense of purpose. But I was raised in a Catholic system, and we had five priests in our family. But again, it sounds all, you know, all very nice and you know, hunky-dory, but in, at the end of the day, if you're following a system not, which is not found in Scripture, it's not of the Lord. It's as simple as that. I mean, the Catholic Church holds the virgin birth, but so does the devil. So we believe in, we believe in confession. But well, you're told to confess your faults to one another, not your sins. But Paul does say in the Bible, confess your sins to one another. It says faults, not sins. It's a mistranslation, okay. it's fault. We're never going to agree, I don't think. So. Not really, but I appreciate you coming to speak Craig, to God me. Bless you, What's your name anyway? Craig. Yeah. Take a track, Craig. Thanks, man. Okay, and uh, yeah. do you do any street work in this town? Do you talk to anybody? How do you find it? That's all right, yeah. That's all right. Do you find it interesting? Yeah. You do? What sort of questions do people ask you when they come here? Since I haven't actually done any street events. Oh, okay. 
don't well, get in the way of you trying to bring it. No, it's fine. The way to go is to make disciples of all nations. You know, it's a great commission for everybody who's born again. I think like Orthodox and Catholics across the believe in the essentials of faith, but I just draw a line with the cults. So. They do, but again, it goes back to justification, doesn't it? If we get the gospel wrong, we get everything wrong. So you believe in justification by faith alone? Absolutely. Just, Nothing else is going to work. The just live by faith. But what for Paul does say, I thought that teaching contradicts the book of James, where James says... James chapter 2, faith that works is dead. He says, just do not know man is not just as I, but faith alone and part of works. I did kind of believe the saving grace, but... They can't both be right, can well, they? What does that mean? What does that mean, that verse in the book of James? James chapter 2. Well, they can both be wrong, but they can't both be right. So does that mean we're saved? You're saved by your works. Are we justified by faith? Oh, yes. Sorry, not faith alone. Faith so, alone. So what's that thing about works? And once you're born again, yeah. you'll have your works which will be seen by those all around you. Yeah. Think back to Abraham yeah. when he offered up Isaac. Yeah. That's Genesis chapter 22. Yeah. His faith was seen yeah. by his, uh, his servants. Yeah. They saw the faith that Abraham had, but he was already justified in Genesis chapter yeah. 15. When he believed in the promise that God gave him, he said, "All those stars out there, they'll be like your, your seed." And he believed that there was no works involved. When the thief was on the cross, he said, "I believe you." He said, "Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom." No works, no baptism, and he received imputation. Yeah. The thing is, I, I haven't got my Orthodox friend here with me because if, if he were you see, he could probably give you some of our. So I can't explain it as well as some people can. Look, if a ship, here's a question I'd ask you, Craig: If I had 20 seconds to live. And I've been a bad man all my life. What would you tell me? What would you tell me? There's no water. Yeah. What would you tell me? I don't know, really. You say, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and now shall be saved. Yeah. That's what Paul told the, the jailer. I'm not trying to trip you up, I'm just giving you some bullet points. Well, I understand, yeah. Read the King James Bible. Yeah. Read the King James Bible. That book was banned and anathematized by the Catholic yeah. Church. Well, They're scared of that book, do you know that? They're scared yeah. of the King James I Bible. If I wasn't Orthodox, I'd just been back to where I was before, not been out of the you, you weren't You weren't discipled, basically, and you weren't, you weren't taught the Bible verse by so verse. I do, I just... You get out of the Eastern Orthodox Church, you get out of it. I'm not going to get out of it, because I believe that's the true church. But you can't even defend it to me. No, I don't need to. I've well, you do need to. You're told, you're told to, uh, you're told to give a defense of the faith have, that's within you. Baptist said they don't have the power of sacraments, so I confess. There's no sacraments in Scripture. Where does the word sacrament so even appear in Scripture? The sacraments are based on tradition. The Pharisees had many sacraments. They washed their hands before they would have meals. And Jesus said, this is all a waste of time. Yeah, you can't, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you're sincere, but you're yeah. deceived. You're, you're misguided, my friends. Deceived, so what, you call like a load of Orthodox people with like heretics or something? Well, I, I'm speaking to you at the moment. Yeah. Maybe somebody else, if they were here, would have a better understanding of what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I, I, That's what concerns me. You, you, I'm sure you're well intended. The thing is, I've, I've done, I'm not stupid, I've done my own Didn't route. say you were stupid, didn't say you were stupid. No, no, I'm not, I'm not attacking that. you personally. But what I'm saying is I've looked into orthodoxy enough for that to, for me to convince me that orthodoxy is what I want to be part of. But Peter says, I'll always be ready to give a defence to the faith that lies yeah. within you. You, give, you like, give me nothing, Craig. If I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I, I, I just, I've read books myself to convince myself how my understanding of Christianity has. Salvation is in a person. I mean, I'm not going to, you've not really convinced me that I should become Baptist. So well, I'm, I'm not pushing Baptist, I'm not pushing any denomination. Why should I become non-denomination? I, I certainly would have to suggest you would. There's no denomination based in the New Testament. Based on, based on the scripture, based on the perfect peace which, which passes all understanding. Yeah. First John 5, he that has a son has life. I mean, are you, saved, are you saved now? Are you born again right now? Well, are your sins forgiven? All of your sins forgiven? Do you know where you're going when you die? If you were to die right now, what sort of assurance do you have? Do you know? At the end of the day, that's why I have to do the daily prayers. I believe but are you saved, Craig? Have you been forgiven? Yeah. Is that yes or no? I don't know. I mean, I, you should know whether you're saved or unsaved. The thing is, I, I believe I'm a believer. I'm, I'm believer but I'm, you believe in Jesus Christ, I don't doubt it, but are you saved? Do you understand what he did on the cross for you? I hope I'm saved. Anyway. You, sh you should know you're saved. What is, it does say in the Bible, work out your fear and trouble. What's the next verse say? For God who works in you, yeah, God both, to, me, both yeah. to will and to, uh, to complete his good pleasure. In me, I hope I am saved. But, but you should know you're saved. But you should still, like, you don't take it for granted. That's it's not taking it for granted. First John if, 5 says... But let me just explain that. Yes. If you don't do the daily prayers, then... This works, it works, it works. It's not going to save you, Craig. No, no, you're, not, you're missing the point. Okay, go on. If you don't do the daily prayers, then you fall into sin, then you're, you're, not, you're, then you're not guaranteed to save. Because if you 
Why does like, it say that in scripture? If adultery or if you... But this is the argument the Mormons will use. The Jehovah's Witness will use so this. When it comes to trying to stay saved, yes, you're told to confess your sins. So that's heresy, to say the no, it's not heresy. What it you're is. trying to do is you're trying to you're, you're trying to use a prayer to, to give yourself assurance of that's salvation. That's why your version of Christianity don't make sense because you said it's all that makes sense. F you first, said prayers don't make. You're saying that the daily prayers. Just what are you praying for daily? Give me what, give me a definition of what you're praying for daily. Let me hear you. Well, we say that Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, Say it again. We say, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, sinner. He's already had mercy on you when you first believed so him. you say that prayer is not valid. What like did John the Baptist message. say? Behold the Lamb of God, yeah. which takes away the sin of the world. Yeah. Paul says he hasn't imputed sin you to anybody. You can't say like a load of prayers are not valid. You... But he's already saved you. If you've believed on him, yeah. I mean, what else does he have to do? Does he keep paying yeah. the price for you? He's already atoned for our sins. Yeah. Of course, I agree. Christ is well, I'm glad you do agree with that. The Catholics have the same misunderstanding. Yeah. Once you receive Christ, you get his imputation. You pass from yeah. death on to life. Yeah. It says in Hebrews 10, once, by one sacrifice, he has, he has perfected forever those that are sanctified. Yeah, I, I do agree we are being sanctified in the sense. Do you read the Bible every day? Well, we do you study the Bible? Yeah, I, I do you? Try and read it when I can. Do you study it, though? I study the Bible a lot. Have you gone through it. Hebrews recently? Because Hebrews will annihilate the Orthodox Church and the Catholic Church. Especially chapter 10 of Hebrews. It's not, it's very clear. The blood of bulls and goats could not take away sins. For the one sacrifice... There's no ripping out of context. If you want to be justified, you receive what Christ has done for you. If you don't, just stay as you are. And that's my concern. You stay as you are. It was always taught and taught. It was actually taught before Martin Luther came along. Protestantism was only five hundred. Is he a bad old. man, Martin Luther? Well, people like John Calvin approved of him. But was Martin Luther a bad man? I'm not saying he's. Is he in hell now? I don't know. It's not my like call to make it. Is his church? Is his church a good church? I'm not going to, I'm not going to claim. You just made. It, you just called him a heretic. <laughs> I'm not going to say who's going to hell. Cause it's not my business. God, but is he a good man or is he a bad man? So your biggest concern with him, or your biggest I'm not, I'm objection? To, like, judge like... Paul said, you're told to make righteous judgments. But, You've judged me yeah. for the last few minutes. I don't have a problem with that at all. Not got... I, basically, when I have literature, then I find it easier to what, just stand with me and have a face-to-face -face conversation. I don't want to help with this. The Ethiopian eunuch in Acts chapter yeah. 16 yeah. says, "Sirs, what must I do to be saved?" The the day, like, believe in the Lord Jesus you've Christ. You've read stuff that has made you come to your own conclusion about the faith. I've read my, what I've done my own reading to come to my conclusion. But you give me no scripture to, to show that I'm wrong. Yeah, but obviously, and I that's something you need to work on. I have a Bible with me, uh, so I've got my phone, but I mean, I'm just yeah. circles. Well, I know, I know the basic crux of Ethan Orthodox yeah. and the Catholic Church is basically faith and works, yeah. baptismal regeneration. And the Armenian position that if you don't if you die in a state if you don't die in a state of grace you go to hell. Yeah. That's what both systems teach, and I say those are both heretical positions to hold to. Oh well. All right. Good luck. Anyway. Okay. Thanks for stopping. See you later. Can I get some water, please. Get some water. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers.